Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I'm gonna thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm gonna thank those who have subscribed and I welcome those comments from my commenters. Uh, all of you who are following me, I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share and like. And watch a commercial or two every now and then. That, that'll help a brother out. <laughs> Unless you want me to put Patreon page up. <laughs> no, you know what's funny? You know, sometimes, you know, I watch other bloggers, you know, from the Philippines and, and listen to them. And, and, you know, a majority of them, you know, I'm not knocking them. Let them do what they want to do. You know, God bless them, you know. You know, a lot of them, you know, uh, deal with, you know, uh, horror stories in the Philippines about uh, the Filipino woman. And, you know, you know, I, you know, I've come to the conclusion that the reason that a lot of them have such a hard time, you know, with them is that a lot of times you're dating, you know, um, um, you, you're dating outside you know, you know, your pay grade, <laughs> that might be the best way to say it, you know, you know, uh, I mean, you, you are pursuing women that are, that are, sure, you would not have found a woman like that in your country, you know, and I understand that, you know, but, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, you know, you're reaching for the stars, and the stars has is tarnished, <laughs> you, know, you know. This one guy was talking about that. Yeah, he dated her for for two years and you know, online and video chat and all this stuff. And she was sending him pictures and what have you. And uh, you know, and and he was going to get married, so he was coming here to get married. And and you know, and come to find out that uh, that she was dating another expat. You know, at the same time, you know, in fact, he was taking the pictures for her to send to him, you know, so, so, you know, I mean, that's just how treacherous, 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 that's just how flocked up it can, it can get, you know, you know, you know, like I said a thousand times, you know, you know, and I've had on my show some examples to some people who've ended up in wonderful relationships meeting their, uh, their dream girl online. And you know, you know, more power to them, but but um, um, more so than not, you know, um, I you know I think the best way of finding uh, a good girl or finding a girl, you know, is meeting up personally, you know, you know now uh, and on her job, you know. Now it's funny I say that because the guy who was talking about it said that she worked in SM, and and I spoke about SM. It's like the super mall or whatever. And she comes in contact with a lot of foreigners and all that stuff. Yeah, well, you know, and she talks to them. Well, yeah, well, that, that that's a real possibility. But by you dating someone who is, you know, who um, who is, you know, I'm speaking for me personally. You know, you know, um, I come from a long list of women. You know, you know, I I, I can honestly say that that um, you know. I've, I have not been played by a woman. You understand what I'm saying? You know, I'm old school. You know, you know, you know, I'm an old hustler. You know, you know, you, you could say I'm an you know, old pamp or drug dealer or, or, you know, or whatever. You could say all that stuff. So, so I know women, you know, I'm also a lover. You know what I'm saying? I'm a great appreciation of, 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 of the female, you know, species, you know, so, you know, it's, you know, I know how to get a woman controller, you know, and, 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 when, and, you know, I know when shit's not getting shaky, I know it's time to go, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, um, in, in, in any, any type of situation, you know, it builds, it builds, it builds, it builds until it gets to a boiling point and it <laughs> explodes now all this drama. Well, I've learned to recognize the signs when a relationship is not working out, and it, and I, I may get right here, well, it's not working out, and I say, stop, 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 stop. So anyway, I might say, stop. And then uh, after saying, this is not working out, why don't we stop here? What do you want? You want the apartment? 
You want the car? I mean, I separate like a divorced couple. I'm not going to just walk away. You know, I, I want her to be secure. You know, I want her to be, you know, uh, I want us to be comfortable in our departure away from one another. And that's how. This is not working out. You know, you know um, this may be the best time for us to separate while we're still friends. You know, while we still love one another, you know. So, you know, rather than, you know, you know, my trying to force you to love me or you trying to force me to love you or, or us trying to force to stay together, make something work that clearly, clearly, you know, you, that, you know, there, there are a lot of cracks in this relationship. You know, why don't we stop now while we still can be friends? You know, and I, you know, I've done that, you know, a lot of times. And that's why to this day I can still pick up the phone and call one of my ex-girlfriends and, and and hi how are you how how are you how are you doing i mean we're still on good terms man we're still on good terms because you know we didn't get to that ugliness we did not get to where is that you know she had resulted to ripping me off or or or, or burning me or, or or my finding out she's dating somebody else you know or you know put me in a situation where i have to fight for her or or fight over her you know you know let me tell you something you know, if I have to fight for you, I'll do that every day. If you find yourself in a situation where you want my support, hey, you know, just, you know, to be on your side, if, if you're facing something, you know, I will be there with bells on. You know, I, you know, I'll, I, you know, I'll, I'll be there supporting you. Or I might throw a jab or two, you know, you know, you know, just, you know, just, you know, just to really let you know I'm on your side. Yeah. But if I have to fight over you. If I have to say it's either him or me, or you know, or well, choose one of us, you know, let me tell you something. I would never find that situation because if you put a man in that situation where he has to choose between him and, and someone else, well, you know what? You were never his. Never his. Because a real woman would, would put her man in a situation like that, you know, you know, she wouldn't be, you know, backdooring him, you know, you know, like like that. And so, you know, it's a lot of times you have to you have to be able to you know to first realize first realize that that uh, uh, that there's going to be um, a lot of differences you know there's going to be a lot of um, things you don't you know you don't like about a person and the person is going to have a lot of things that they don't like about you but you know. There's a lot of good things that you share together. And that's what you have to focus on. In a relationship, you have to eat a lot of crow, man. You know, I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I, I didn't come into this relationship to change you, you know. And, and I know you didn't come into this relationship to change me because, if it, you, you know, it's not going to happen. You know, I'm who I am and have been who I am for the longest time. You know, you can't stop me from being me. You know, and and although you know somebody might say, "Oh, you know, you know how you know you know how can you let him do that? How can you let him say that? You know, you you know you know like this," and and you have to remember that you know what I'm doing is nothing new. What I'm doing, you knew I did it before we hooked up. You know, you knew who I am before we tied the knot. You know, you knew who I who I was. You know, before you chose me. And another secret is staying consistent. You have to stay consistent in what you do in a relationship. You know, I, I talk about this one story about this girl who I was with, you know, and, and, um, and we were crazy for one another. And every day I stopped by her house, she would have, she would give me a glass of, um, of um, a drink. I don't know what kind it was. It wasn't Kool-Aid, the cherry Kool-Aid. So <laughs> she, and it had ice in it. And it was good. Every time I came, that's the first thing she did was gave me a glass of ice cold something or another. And one day I stopped in her house and she gave me a glass of the same drink, but it didn't have no ice in it. So I took the glass and I looked like this and I held it up like this and like this and I looked at her down like this. And she said, what are you doing? 
I said, baby, there's no ice in it. I said, something's wrong. You stop being consistent, something's troubling you. Let's talk about it. Because you stop being consistent. Whatever you do in a relationship, you do throughout the relationship. You know? So don't make it like there's some your know, secret hey uh, 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 cabal or something like this that, that I'm morphing into something that you didn't know. I mean, you know, those are in, in physical abuse relationship. You know, that's, a, that's why I don't introduce people. I don't introduce girls to men. You know, and I don't introduce men to girls, you know, for the simple reason that, you know, I can't fully vouch for your mental state. <laughs> you know, I don't know what you're going to turn into. I don't know your record of dating and being with someone and how loyal you are or, or, or how loyal you're going to be. Hey, you know, you know, I can't vouch for that. So for that reason, you know, I would be mortified. If I introduce a couple together and it, and it turned out to be a, a total disaster, you know, horrible things happen, abuse or whatever happened. I mean, I, you know, I, I would not want to be the one to say, yes, yeah, I introduced them together. No, 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 that, that's not me. So, you know, and sometimes when, when you, you know, you meet people and you know, other couples or what have you, and you get to see, you know, uh, you get to see <laughs> what they don't see, you know, you know, looking at each other. And it's, there's a lot to be said when you're on the outside looking in. Because when you're on the outside looking in, you're not looking through rose-colored glasses. You're seeing things for what they are. And when you see things for what they are, you go, oh, my God. You know, if they only knew, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, and then you're confronted with this decision. Well, you, well, you know, you, you know, do you know? Do I step forward and say, "Yo, yo, yo, baby, look, look, your man is doing you dirty." You know what I'm saying? You know, do, do I do I do that? You know, do, do I say that, or do I step and say, "Yo, yo, uh, yo, my trigger," you know, <laughs> you know, if you only knew, you know, you, you know what's going on, you know. No, I, you know, I won't do that for two reasons. Because, you know, I'm afraid that, he, that either one of them is going to say, why are you telling me? What's in it for you? What's really happening? What's really on your mind? Why do you care what's happening in our relationship? You know. And the second reason is that, you know, you never come between a man and his woman. You just don't. You know, she's going to choose him all the time, and she's going to, uh, uh, he's going to choose her all the time. So you just don't. So here in the Philippines, if 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 you know if you see something that's happening in a relationship, you know you can't speak on it. You can't say nothing of it. For two reasons again, because number one, it's none of your business, and secondly, you're messing with people's livelihoods. Not only that person's livelihood, but that person's family livelihood. And here in the Philippines, they don't play. They have no problem seeking revenge on you or 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 on something that that you've done to interfere with, with, with their livelihood. You just don't, man. You just don't, you know, you know, you know, you, you know, all you do is just, you know, it's, it's, if someone came to me and said, Gerard, you know, you, you know, me, I saw me talking, you know, hey, you know, to this guy, or whatever like this, I said, well, why, <laughs> why are you telling me, man? That's her business, you know. Now I've learned, I've learned the hard way here that that you know, you know, women, you know, people will talk about you, you know, people will tell on you, and, you know, people. Well, well, there's an easy solution to that. You know what that solution is? Is to be loyal and sincere and truthful. You understand? 
You know, that's why I have no problem with NSA or, or whatever it is, or, you know, them looking at my internet or, or the government spying on me, whatever. Go ahead and spy on me, man. <laughs> what do I care? You know, you know, you, you want to take my money on my bank? Go ahead. I don't care because my bank can put the money back. You understand? You know, so, so you know, it, it doesn't bother me because if you're not doing nothing wrong, if you're not doing something shady, then you have nothing to worry about. Oh, no, 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 let me tell you, you know, I, I am human. Yes, you know, you, you know, I still have flashbacks of the times with so and so, you know, and I even have those flashbacks at the most awkward moments, you know, in our relationship, you know. But then, you know, you know, I I, I can't, you know, I, I I can't ignore, you know, uh, you know. The state of pleasure I was in at the time, you know. So yeah, do you know? Do I? You know, one thing that's happened to me, you know, that I thought would never happen to me, you know. Uh, you know, you know. I don't look at girls no more, and think about, wow, damn, you know, boy, would I like to flock that? Oh man, ooh, ooh he, you know. For them, I don't know what I don't know what what happened. I, I always was like that. <laughs> you know, damn, yo, girl, I give you a thousand pesos just to take a loose that bra, so I can see. Him. <laughs> you know, you know, and and don't think the opportunity he has has to come up. You know, I've I've seen a couple of girls, who, you know, what you know, who, who some text me, yo, Gerard, you know, I, nah, you know, what's really happening? What do you want? No, no, no. And then I, I said, no, my wife and I are happily married because I don't have that desire anymore. It's been lifted from me, and that's one of the things about being in a in a healthy relationship. Because if you're in a healthy relationship, all those type of Thoughts, you know, all you know, all those type of negativities, all those type of dogginess, you know, <laughs> you know, goes away, goes away, you know, because you know, you know, I, I'm already over the hump of trying to find, you know, or, or, or try to put notches, or you know, on my phallus on how many girls I tap, you know, I'm, I'm over there, you know. Now I want, now I'm looking at comfort, I'm looking at a companionship. I'm looking for being with someone who I can be with for, you know, who's going to take care of me. And that's one of the things about the Philippines. When you come into the Philippines, and if you find a good girl, you know, if you find someone that's, you know, that, uh, that, that is in, that you're not dating too far up, <laughs> you know, that, that's looking for somebody else or just, you know, you know, here for the moment, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's a wonderful thing, man. You know, I mean, you know, I feel truly, truly blessed and truly, truly feel like I'm being taken care of. You know, and I'm doing my best to take care of her, you know, which is easy compared to, hey, hey you know, what, uh, what it would be like in the United States. Hey, you know, this is the first time we were in a jewelry store the other day, and and, 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 and you know, she was looking at a pair of gold earrings and like this. I don't say nothing. I never ask how much. You know, you know, I, I don't. I just don't. You know, I, I, you know, she has her own money. You know, and you know, and, and you know, you know, she look at earrings. She showed me the. What do you think about these? Well, they're nice. You know, I'm never gonna say yeah. You like them? They're nice. You know, you know. So she bought. She said, that, but other pair were were X amount of pesos and. I didn't have that much, okay. Now, I always tell them that, you know, if you want to know how to work with me, just listen. Just listen. Just listen. I will tell you how to get the most out of me. You know, understand? And so, you know, I may be shooting myself in the foot again by telling her, you know, if you need it, just come to me. You know, I, I will cover it. Now, see, now you could have said, you know, baby, you know, these are nice, but I really like these. And, and you know, and, but I, well, no problem. Get them. You know, I, I'll cover it. You see, you know, I, I might be, you know, uh, shooting myself in the foot, but I, I would like her to be that type of, you know, um, secure the ways that she can come to me when she needs something like that. Because, you know, you know, I, I'm happy to give her that. I mean, you know, buying buying jewelry here, you know, is different than buying jewelry in the states. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, um, and 
mostly because of the cost, you know. So, so she got a nice pair of earrings and all that stuff. Very, nice. she's very proud of it. But I'm glad she's buying it in jewelry store and online because you just don't buy crap like that online. But anyway, my time's up. My time is up. I don't know if you can see it. You know, <laughs> I, I keep a stopwatch so this way I know, you know, uh, how far I'm going so this way I can post because I don't want it to be too long. Okay, so remember, you're watching Gerard Black in Philippines with the truth. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans of waiting. Action never disrespect. Elderly always pulls them up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge of life is to live good. I'm living good, man. I'm living good. Yeah. And I hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, formerly singer of The Temptation, once sung, <clears throat> treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, my main thing is never say no. <laughs> I always love you more. I'll talk to you tomorrow at 7.30. Remember, I always love you more. Peace.